Uh, some people in chat are asking about whether I am still holding. Uh, I'm still holding GameStop. So hold on a second. Let me let me just diamond hodling. Let, diamond diamond hodling. Diamond diamond hands, baby. Uh, people are asking about the update on my holdings. So I didn't end up going all in 50k on GameStop. I bought thirty thousand dollars of GameStop and then ten thousand dollars of AMC. So which is another meme stock, and then ten of BCRX, which. I actually bought because I thought it was a meme stock, but actually it was one that was reasonably well researched. So, so far then, um, the biggest loss has been GameStop. Um, I would show this to you guys, but I think I can't actually focus on it anyway, and it's kind of hard to look at. Also, the market value is not working correctly on my app for whatever reason. I don't know, I'm sure someone can fix this. So you can see the 30,000 is there. So I'm diamond hands holding. I told you guys that I'm going to ride it into the ground. So, um, you know, for me, it was not about thinking that I was going to be getting rich quick or anything like that. Frankly, I, I didn't need to gamble the money. Um, you know, I actually have a job where I make really good money. So I, I, I didn't need like a, like a, an investment lottery ticket uh, effectively. Yeah. For me, this yeah. was more about the movement that was happening, being on the right side of history at this time. I really do believe wealth inequality is the biggest problem facing us as a society right now. Um, so, you know, for me, there was only there was only good outcomes. Good outcome number one was, hey, it turns out they're right to the moon. OK, cool. And we could have found something cool to do with the money. Maybe we maybe we donated or something. You know, we'd figure something out. Maybe we host like a yeah. really cool event um, that we don't even try to make a profit on, but people can come and participate. I, I don't know what it would be. We'd, we'd find something to do. Um, or good outcome number two was some wealth got redistributed. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> So I, I saw it as kind of like a, a donation to people who were investing in this thing because they really needed it. Uh, and you know what? Maybe it ended up going to the hedge funds anyway. I don't know. But one way or another, I, 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 felt, I, don't know. I felt compelled. I felt like I needed to participate. I enjoyed the memes. Uh, people are like, wife talk, please. Okay. So she wasn't thrilled with me doing it without talking to her. But the reality of it is that, um, you know, once we talked about what I was doing and that I, I wasn't just like going crazy and buying into some get rich quick scheme, um, she facilitated getting the account all set up. She got me the credentials. She uh, helped me through the whole process because transferring money from one bank to another is not always something you can do electronically. So she's like, yeah, okay. She made, she watched the kids for me while I went and got the checks from the office and went to the bank and deposited it and like helped me get it all going. She, she put time aside to help with it. Cause like, we're, we're good. Like I, I, we joke a lot about, you know, Oh, you know, what has he done now? She, you know, she might be mad. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I, My I girlfriend really liked the sleeping on the couch tweet that you made. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. obviously joking. I have never slept on the couch in my entire 15-year relationship with that lady. And neither has she. We have a hard and fast rule. You do not go to bed angry. We've definitely been up till 5 in the morning from time to time. <laughs> but we have always slept in the same bed and we have always stuck to that belief so that's what it is all about when it comes to maintaining uh, a relationship we've found um hey yeah mcnuggets got it right my luckiest moment in life was meeting yvonne not just that but you know i we don't take for granted that we had the we had the 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 privilege of meeting each other extremely young you know so we met each other when we were 19 and not everybody not everybody finds the one that fast. You know, neither of us had to waste a lot of time. If, yeah, if, and I don't mean waste time. I mean, sometimes, you know, we look back and we go, you know, ha, maybe it would have been, maybe it would have been fun to, to date for a while and stuff, or, you know, have a more wild and crazy university experience or, or whatever, you know, it's sure. Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe that would have been fun. Uh, it's not really my style. Luke's laughing. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty conservative. Yes, Luke. Thank you for that. <laughs> but the point is, the point is, um, sometimes you can't help but think about those things. But I definitely have no regrets whatsoever.